Winaman, Winaman, Jesus is a Winaman, Winaman all the time. Jesus is a Winaman, Winaman, oh, Winaman. Awesome. Jesus, we. Hallelujah. This looks like we're winning now. Okay, this looks better. It's like we're winning. Let me know if you're still there. Praise God. Perfect. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. This looks like we're winning. This looks like we're winning. Praise God. Can you hear me and can you see me? It's like we're good now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This looks like we've won. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, victory is ours. Praise God. So, let's do Exodus chapter number 16. But because of time, I'll ask you to only read a few verses there. So, Exodus 16, we're just going to read from verse number 7 to verse number 15. Who can give it to me? Let's go. Let's do justice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to read from verse number 7 to verse number 15. And in the morning, then you shall see the glory of the Lord. For that he heareth your murmurings against the Lord, and what are we that you may murmur against us? And Moses said, This shall be when the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full. For that the Lord heareth your murmurings, which you murmur against him. And what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. And Moses spoke unto Aaron, saying unto the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he has your, heard your murmurings. Verse 10, And it came to pass as Aaron spoke unto the congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, I've heard the murmurings of the children of Israel, speak unto them, saying, Even... At even you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass that at even the quails came up. The quails. Thank you, Jesus. The quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay round about the host. And when the dew that was lay gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness, they lay a small round thing as small as the whole frost on the ground and when the children of Israel saw it they said one one to another it is man for they wist not what it was and Moses said unto them this is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat praise God all, all right so I want to show you this Israel the Hebrews have just left Egypt they are on their way to the promised land as they leave Egypt the very first place they come to is the wilderness. When they come into this wilderness, it's a desert, it's a dry place. Um, no rains, no shops, no mows, no butcheries. It's just a dry place. The only sign you see there is lack. Lack. No water, no food. As more than three million people into this desert they lift their voices and they cry to Moses they said did you bring us here to die in the wilderness why did they say so because the wilderness did not give any picture of hope the wilderness did not give any picture of help 
the wilderness did not give any picture of abundance or provision. They thought to themselves, we will die for there is nothing to eat. So they cried. They remembered Egypt. They wanted to go back. So Moses went to the Lord and said to God, people are murmuring, people are complaining. Now, I want you to see what God said. God said to Moses, tell the people to take it easy. I'm going to bring my glory in the morning and in the evenings. I'm going to allow my glory to descend down and come into their desert and come into their wilderness, the glory of God. Thank you. Oh my God, you gave me scriptures. This is so amazing. Thank you, Felicity. Thank you. There you go, verse 7. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord. Oh God. In the morning you shall see the glory of God. Make a declaration. I want to see the glory of God. I'm going to see the glory of God. I'm going to live in the glory of God. My glory days are here. Make that declaration. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord is my canopy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ooh. I want you to see something here. I want you to see something amazing here. Now. They are complaining because of their terrain. Their terrain is a total sum of hopelessness, helplessness in terms of provision, economics, and abundance. Their terrain is bad. Mm -hmm. My label, Shikataya, they're in this place where there's no river for fish. There is no water to drink. There's no forest to catch an animal. Three million people need to eat every morning and every evening. They need to drink water. Now they're wondering, this place is such a chaos. It's very chaotic. What was God's answer? What was God's answer to their situation? If we can find God's answer, Glenda, if we can find God's answer, Charity, Apostle Helen, if we can find God's solution in that situation, maybe, maybe it could be the solution for our situation because our God does not change. Our God is the same yesterday, today and forever. What he did for the Hebrews, he'll do for us. What he did for Judah, he'll do for us. What he did for Israel, he'll do for us. What he did for Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Joseph, he'll do for us. Let's find out what was God's solution when his people were in the terrain of total lack. What was God's solution? Hallelujah. I want to experience the glory of God. And so, God said to Moses, In the morning you shall see my glory. In the morning you shall see my glory. The glory of God was going to invade the wilderness. Hallelujah. Some countries in this world look like a wilderness situation. Now watch this. Because I have... A revelation to supercharge your faith. In the while the people were complaining, they looked to the east, and as they were looking to the east, they saw the glory cloud. They saw the glory cloud. Praise God, hallelujah. Hey Rosaria, good to see you. Good to see you. How are you doing? Where are you? Are you in Kidway? Please tell tell Elizabeth. And tell Rose and tell your family that we are here on YouTube. Good to see you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So they looked to the east and they saw the glory of God in a cloud. 
there is what we call a glory cloud. I want to speak to some of you here who are ministers. I want to speak to some of you here who are leaders, governmental leaders. I want to speak to some of you here who are business leaders. There is something called the glory cloud. Please write that for me. The glory cloud. What is the glory cloud? It's a manifestation of the Shekinah glory. The Shekinah glory. The thick glory. So you see, the glory of God is tangible. The glory of God is visible. The glory of God is physical. The cabord, the weight, you can touch it. They saw it with their naked eyes. This was not a vision or a dream. More than three million people looked to the east with their naked eyes of the flesh. They saw the glory cloud coming from heaven to where they were. Woo! Hallelujah! Hey, Pastor Dudu, good to see you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Make a declaration. I decree and I declare that my heart and my mind shall seek the face of the Lord until with my naked eyes I see the tangible glory cloud until I see the Shekinah glory I shall see the glory of God coming on my body coming on my soul coming on my spirit I shall see the glory cloud coming on my house coming on my business come in my office glory I shall see the glory cloud the mighty Shekinah glory visiting me it shall invade just like Israel saw it with their naked eyes I shall saw it come on if you're a father if you're a priest and a prophet and apostle and an evangelist this is a time to declare while I'm ministering in the temple there shall be a smoke of God's glory there shall be a cloud of God's glory hallelujah the Shekinah is coming to me praise God Woo! thank you Jesus oh hallelujah the glory cloud, the Shekinah glory, hallelujah. Yes, Prince Ken, good to see you there in Botswana. Oh, Minister Baldwin, Minister Baldwin, I pray for you, son, Baldwin the saint, that as you sing, as you worship, just like the Old Testament worshipers and praises and singers with them began to sing, the, the scripture says, and the glory cloud will come to the tent. It will come to the tent of the meeting and people would see the glory and they'll be afraid to go inside the pastor the priest the apostle will not even preach hey lord restore to us the glory days you said in Haggai that have you seen the former glory but let me tell you something the latter glory of this house shall be greater 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 than the former glory we are living in the latter days glory we are living in the latter days manifestation of the latter glory let the latter glory come to us let the latter glory be released to us in the name of Jesus the son of the living God oh hallelujah 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 oh hallelujah hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus I shall see the Shekinah glory I, I shall there shall be a smoke of God's glory upon my life amen <laughs> glory to God hallelujah don't you like it when witches want to come in the night and they want to come and bewitch you and they're coming to your home as they are flying suddenly. You know, have you ever been on the plane when you're flying and you see this huge cloud, eh? Have you seen that? Huge. The turbulences in the sky when flying are caused by these huge clouds. You know, when the plane goes into that huge, huge, huge cloud you you see the tabulances the plane is shaking they even tell you fasten your brow because the tabulances my goodness you see the scripture says the glory of God is a cloud the cloud the cloud carries the glory of God so can you imagine when your house is covered with a glory cloud and these wizards and sorcerers and witches and robbers come to your house they'll have tabulances man spiritual tabulances lenses they can't fly over your house they can't fly into your house these tabulances caused by the glory of God come on receive the glory cloud praise God hallelujah 
Woo, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. So here's the thing now. Here's the thing I want to show you. So in the morning, the glory cloud would come to the wilderness. It would also come in the evenings. Now watch this. <laughs> Woo! Watch this. When the glory cloud rested upon the desert, Upon that ground, upon that wilderness, when the glory cloud rested upon it, it covered the earth, it covered the soil. As the sun was rising, you see, like the, the glory cloud, like vapor, it began to. To, to be lifted off. So when the Israelites went to see where this glory cloud had rested, they found food. They found food. They found food. They asked themselves, what is this? They called it manna. Manna was the supernatural provision. <laughs> As a matter of fact, scripture says, manna is angel's food. They ate the angel's food. This supernatural provision, that is angelic food, which is manna, was transported to them in the glory. Oh, praise God. Praise God. The glory of God is the vehicle that carries supernatural provision. The glory of God is a vehicle that carries supernatural provision. Supernatural riches. Supernatural wealth, supernatural finances. Hey, something is happening right now. When you connect to the glory cloud, when the glory cloud comes upon you, it beautifies your body. It does something to your face. Your face begins to glow. It becomes the protection on your house. It becomes a protection on your body. But this glory cloud in it, inside it, is your supernatural provision. So, Candy, there is supernatural provision coming to you as you seek the glory of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, here's the thing. Instead of chasing after money, let us chase after the glory. Instead of chasing after money, let us chase after the glory. And this is why I love you, family. We chase after the glory of God every midnight. We need your glory, God. Release your glory, O oh God. Send your glory, O oh God. Hallelujah. We go for work in the morning from Monday to Friday, eight hours. We go to work, but what that employment gives us is not enough to take us into the overflow. It's not enough to take us into the place of more than enough. So we say one night, one hour at night, we're going to chase the glory of God. We're going to pursue the glory of God. We're going to seek the glory of the Lord. We know once we find that glory of the Lord, we we're going to find the supernatural provision that brings us into the overflow, into more than enough, into abundance, into the wealth place. That's why we're here every night. And I know God has promised. He said, God is a reward of them that's, that diligently seek after him. Every night we're seeking the Lord. 
diligently seeking him. He said he's a rewarder. He's going to reward me. He's going to reward you. There is a glory reward coming. A reward of glory. Glory is your portion. A reward of glory is your inheritance. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, sir. Instruments of his glory. Instruments of his glory. Oh, hallelujah. The glory of God is a region. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Take it in, hallelujah. Take it in, hallelujah. Take it in, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it in, thank you, Jesus. Now, so in the morning, the glory of the Lord came and brought bread for them. But I want to I wanna show you the miracle of the evening. 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 Because the glory also came in the evening. <laughs> glory to God. Verse number 13. Watch verse 13. Hey, Kulu. 16:13 Exodus chapter 16 verse 13 Thank you Jesus Oh hallelujah The internet is misbehaving again Hallelujah glory to God Exodus 16 verse 13 Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Diddy, are you going to give me Exodus 16 verse 13? Thank you, Jesus. Exodus, Exodus 16, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, when the glory rested upon the wilderness, it covered the soil. As the sun rose, it began to be lifted off. They found food, manna, supernatural provision, angelic food transported to them in the glory. Glory of God is the vehicle that carries the supernatural wealth. Thank you. The glory cloud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It beautifies, it protects, it provides, it refreshes. There's a supernatural provision coming to me. Thank you, Apostle Helen. I like this. All right. Thank you. Let's, let's watch this now. Exodus 16, verse 13. And it came to pass that, that at evening the quails came. The quails came and covered the camp. And in the morning the dew lay around about the host. New Living Translation, that evening vast numbers of quails flew in, my God, they flew in, my goodness, that evening quail flew in and covered the camp, and the next morning the area around the camp was wet with dew, <coughs> amplified, in the evening quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay around about the camp. International version. That evening, quail came and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew round the camp. Now, now, here, here's what I want you to see. Okay. When the glory was upon the camp, 
the quails, listen to this please, the quails flew in. The quails flew in. The quails flew in. Now you know that the Israelites ate quails and manna. That was their dish. That was their menu. It was mail. It was manna with quails. Just like you would go into a restaurant and ask for shimmer and chicken. Pap and chicken. Papa and chicken. Their menu for a very long time was quails and, and manna. Manna looked like bread, you know, a round thing like bread. So they ate it with quails. Now, please, I want you to listen to this. Amen. I receive and I accept the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Now, uh, quails are very nice. Have you ever eaten them? Have you, Kennedy? Very nice. Do you know quails are very little birds, but quite expensive? Quite expensive. I like them for breakfast. So, when you go into a hotel, a meal with quails is quite expensive. You know, now if you have to eat two, you know, if you, <laughs> it's quite expensive. However, I began eating quails in the village. Now, quails were very difficult to hunt. They have this challenge or this potential. They run very fast on the ground. They run very fast. So we would go with dogs in the field to chase them. Uh, you know, dogs can run as well. Dogs go <laughs> very fast, <laughs> very fast. Just before the dog will catch the quail, what does the quail do? It flies. It takes off. It flies. Especially they're expensive because they're difficult to catch. Here's what I want you to hear. Those intelligent, cantankerous, complicated, wild, very fast flying quail came to where the glory was. Did you get it, Kennedy? And they came and sat in the camp where God's people were. When they sat in the camp where God's people were, When the Israelites went to catch them, they did not run away. They did not fly away. They, they, they came like, hmm, here, I've brought myself, eat me. <laughs> catch me and do to me what you want. You know, what business are you in? Money is flying away. Money is running away. Commodities are running away. Oil, diamond, copper, gold, running away. When the glory is upon your life, when the glory is on your camp, when the glory comes to you, the things you've been chasing, and the more you chase them, they run away. Those things will begin to chase after you. Here's the thing. Chase after the glory. And the gold will chase after you. Chase after the glory. And the wealth will chase after you. Chase after the glory. And the position and the promotion will chase after you. Chase after God's glory. And the earth resources will come after you. I hope you understand this. I hope you understand this family. There is a blessing coming after you. And these signs and these wonders and these miracles, they shall follow you. These signs, they shall pursue you. 
There is supernatural healing. There is supernatural provision. There is supernatural wealth. There is supernatural finances that is about to chase after you. But you must chase after the glory of God. I'm so blessed even when the internet is acting up. And so here's the thing. The terrain is not the problem. What is on the terrain is the problem. Zimbabwe is not a poor country. The question is, the people running Zimbabwe, are they walking in the glory? Zambia, the people running the country, can they bring the glory down? Can our political leaders, can our governmental leaders, can our spiritual leaders bring the glory down? Yes. Our cities are not poor, but can our mayors, our senators, our governors, our premier, can they bring the glory down? Yeah. Nothing grows in the desert. economy of a desert is a basket case but when the glory of God comes a place of abundance it becomes a place of wealth oh glory to God yes opposed to Helen Oh, my expensive, oh, my expensive quails came and settled where the glory was. I'm crying here. The glory of God overwhelms me. Amen. Same here. Oh, did the same there, right? The glory of God. Quails were physical birds. Relationship between the physical, material things you want with the glory of God. Let the glory of God produce it for you. Let the glory of God attract it for you. Go after the glory. Pursue the glory. Seek the glory of God. See how it changes your life. Remaining with two minutes. Zamiwe is his blessing here. Yes, Victoria. Chase after the glory, and the God will chase after you. For all have seen of God's glory. No wonder there is poverty and there is pain and there is sickness. But when the glory comes, all those things, they move away. Praise God. There is a promise that the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former. 
Let's read that. And I, I, I know today the internet has asked us and will take communion and continue this thing on Monday. Let's read Haggai chapter number two. Let's read the promise. I, I want you to go with the promise. Let's read the promise. Haggai chapter number two. Let's read the promise. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Haggai chapter 3 to verse number 9. Let's, let's give you the promise of the glory. Haggai chapter number 2 verse Three to nine. Verse three to nine. Praise God. Woo! Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give it to me. See. Verse three to nine. Let's read the promise of the glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, what a savior. Mm. Yes. Mackenzie, thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read this and wrap the night. Oh, yes, Lord, I pursue your glory all the days of my life. I like this felicity. The very intelligent cantankerous quails came where the camp was. When the Israelites caught them, they didn't run away. They didn't fly away. Praise God. Oh, glory to God. When the glory is upon your life, the things will chase after you. So chase after the glory and the position and the wealth and the earth resources will chase after you. Oh, praise God. Yes, 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 Mackenzie. When the glory of God comes upon the desert, the desert becomes a place of abandonment. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, cool. You remember that scripture. When the Spirit of the Lord comes, the days that will become a fruitful ground. Isaiah. And the fruitful ground will become a forest. When the Spirit of God's glory comes, my days that becomes a fruitful ground. So, is your home, is your business, is your city looking like a desert? The answer is the glory of God. Me Haggai chapter 2 verse 3 to 9. Let's finish the night. Yes, Father, release the fullness of your glory. Your glory cloud, come, we want more of your glory. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Where is Didi? Where is Bokang? Where is Kulu? Please give me Haggai chapter 2, verse 3 to 9. Restore your glory in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I love the prayers you're praying. I love the declarations you're making. Restore your glory! Thank you, Father. <laughs> Restore your glory! Glory to God. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Restore your glory. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Who is giving us the scripture? We are ready. We are ready. I've already posted it. It'll take long to post it. Oh, Rabbi Yendelebo Sikata. Oh, what a year. Oh, what a year. Praise God. Oh, what a year. Thank you, Jesus. It's posted. Thank you. Thank you, Didi. Thank you, Didi. Who is left among all this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, 
Say yes, the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Josedek, the high priest. And be strong, O you people of the land. Say yes, the Lord, and work, and work, and work for I According to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit, my, my spirit remains among you. Fear not. My spirit remains among you. Fear not. For thus say yes the Lord of hosts. Yet once it is a little while. And I will shake the heavens and the earth. And the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all nations. And all the desires of the nations will come. And I will fill this house with glory. I will fill this house with glory. See. Every time you see the word glory in the scripture, just read a few more verses. You see silver, you see gold, you see the goodness, you see wealth, you see the materials. He says, he says, the silver is mine and the gold is mine. Say, so yes, the Lord of hosts, the glory of this latter house shall be greater, greater than of the former say yes the lord of hosts and in this place i'll give peace says the lord of hosts it is impossible to have peace without the glory it is impossible to have the peace of the lord without the glory oh god the glory of god will bring the silver and the gold and the gold which is the greater glory is in your house there's going to be peace. Peace because you're not worried about the bills. Peace because you're not worried about the mortgage. You own the houses. Peace because you're not answering to anyone. No one is telling you what time to wake up and where to go and how long to wake for the peace. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Listen to New Living Translation. Does anyone remember this house, this temple, in its former splendor? The other word for glory is splendor. How in comparison, it must, it, it must seem like nothing at all. But now the Lord says, be strong Zerubbabel, be strong Joshua, son of Josedek, the high priest, be strong all you people still left in the land and now get to work for our, I am with you, says the Lord of heavens of armies. My spirit remains among you just as I promised you when you came out of Egypt, so do not be afraid for this is what the Lord of heavens of armies says. In just a little while, I will again shake the heavens and the earth, the oceans and the dry land. I will shake all the nations and the treasures of all the nations will be brought to this temple. Amen. I will fill this place with glory. Say, so yes, the Lord of, of heaven's armies, the silver is mine and the gold is mine. Say, so yes, the Lord of armies, the future glory of this temple. Oh, We're going to take communion. We're going to take communion. Hey, Alice. Hey, Esther. I want you to, to go all the way after the glory of God. 
I want you to pray until it is tangible. This is where I call for prevailing prayer. You're not talking about the devil here. You're praying in tongues. Two hours of praying in tongues every day will bring the glory faster. One hour of praying in tongues every day in 21 days, 30 days, you see the glory. Mm. You feel it. You feel it on your skin. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Pray more in tongues. You pray in tongues and you pray in English. Don't talk. Watch what happens. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So let's take communion. Heavenly Father, we thank, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your glory. We want more of your glory. We want the Shekinah glory. We want it to cover our homes, our houses, our bodies, our businesses, let your glory come to our terrain as we take up this communion. We are in agreement with you that Lord Haggai chapter 2 is going to come. That the latter glory of this house shall be greater and greater and greater and greater than the former. We receive the manifestation in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Come on, let's take communion. Thank you for the splendor, Lord. Woo, glory. Oh, glory. <laughs> it has become better. Because we're concluding. Anyway, God's word was given. Woo. <laughs> Only to become better now. Hey, Rosaria, you're watching with Liz. Oh my goodness. to become better now. People have gone to sleep that we're using it. Hey, greatness, I didn't see you. Praise God. Uh, Your excellence, did you stay to the, to the end, Dr. Daniel? You stay to the end, sir. I pray for every one of you that you will see glory in your days and you will see it even in the now. Jesus prayed that the Father will give you the glory that he had. I pray now that the prayer of Jesus in John 17 be made manifest to you. I pray that the prayer 17 be yours. Let the glory of God come upon you like a crown. Oh, hallelujah. Let the glory of God visit you. And let the manifestation of God's glory, which is divine health, which is supernatural wealth, which is the glowing of your face. Oh, begin to happen right now. Begin to receive an experience of God's glory. Those of you that are believing God for a child, let the glory of God move on your loins and on your tummy. Praise God. And just cause fertility and fruitfulness to happen. Those of you that are believing God and are waiting on God for something to come to you, a financial breakthrough. 
wherever it is right now, like those quails flew to the camp where the glory of God was, I pray now that your blessings are flying to your camp, are flying to you. The quails didn't fly to Egypt. They flew to where the glory was. Receive a mighty manifestation of the intensity of God's glory and let the blessings begin to leave China, Australia. <laughs> oh, let the blessings begin to leave the wicked camp of the enemy and fly to you. Let the glory of God upon you become the wealth magnet in the name of Jesus. Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. So talk to me before you go. I see a lot of you were overwhelmed by the power of God's glory. We've come to the end. Talk to me before you leave. Oh, thank you, El Simosiso. Thank you. I love the feedback. Thank you. Give me a hand and give me a heart. Thank God for me. Yeah, let's do that. Thank God for me. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So, Friday, we do not have midnight watch. We have Bible study. We call it the Kingdom Word Study. 1800 hours Zambian time, 6 p.m. Zambian times. We have Pastor Selvin Marimutu from the city of Durban, a multi-millionaire. He's got a word. He began last Friday to talk about our inheritance. We're praying that the internet will be good and we're going to host him in the next 1800 hours. So don't miss. He, uh, last Friday was amazing. Don't miss the the testimonies, the word was awesome. I'm believing that as we see our something big is happening. I love you, family. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Praise God. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So I'm going to just wait a little bit before Mr. Kennedy uh, takes us. Say something nice. Encourage the preacher. Say something beautiful. I want to just read your comments. Thank you, Zamiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Ooh, yeah. Yes, Lord. How I, I love you. You are worthy of worship. I bless. Your holy name. There is no one like you, Lord. My blessings are flying to me. Amen. I receive financial breakthrough. Amen. Your glory is upon me. His glory is so heavy here. Praise God. Praise God. May God use your Apostle Helen to release the glory of God in your county in California. Oh, Bokang, I love you too. I love you, Mick. I love you first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Pastor D, good to see you, man. I love you. May you walk in the mighty manifestation of God's glory. Lulu My God, God. We can't wait to see you, Lulu, in Zambia. Oh, Mackenzie, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, praise God. All right, so it's good afternoon, it's good evening, it's good morning.